President Ruto did not repeat what he said at his inauguration. He didn't repeat what he said at the UN General Assembly. He didn't repeat what he said yesterday. He will say what is there today. And I think his key areas to pick was to make sure that the big four agenda in the plan are implemented. Universal health care. Health care for every Kenyan. Housing. And all these housing, affordable, cheap housing. Every Kenyan to live in a decent house. Turn the payment of rent into ownership of houses. Thirdly, to make sure Kenya is food secure. And even before his cabinet sits, he reduced first promises the prices of fertilizer. He's dealing with the drought as we speak today. He appointed the six judges who the Constitution allowed, but the, because of impunity, the former president refused. He called Safaricom and told them, we know the owners of Fuliza. Reduced Fuliza by 80%. In 30 days, Honorable Bandi, a ranking member, what President William Ruto has done, other presidents have all done in two years. And for corruption, watch his space. If you were involved in KEMSA, if you, are, if you have a file, whether you belong to Kenya Kwanzaa, whether you belong to the opposition, he categorically said he will empower and support financially the oversight independent institutions which for five years were captured by the state mandarins. The office of the DPP, EACC, Auditor General, Honorable Wandai said, I served in, as a member of the, of the Public Accounts Committee, the control of budget was harassed by the Minister for Finance. The Inspector General of Police, today, if there is an incident in any constituency, he has the capacity and the financial muscle to do his operational without any hindrance. All these were done within 30 days. If William Ruto will either be, President William Ruto will be either like President Kibaki, who left us with a debt of 1.8 trillion, or he will be better. And I am one person who believes if Kenya will not change under the leadership of the chief hustler, it will never change. There is optimism. There is a lot of excitement in the region and in Africa. Never have you seen 21 presidents coming for an inauguration. There used to be a, a handful of 10, 15. Kenya is a hub, Madam Speaker. Madam Speaker, we have a young, energetic, sober president. A president who only takes tea, like me. <laughs> he only takes tea. A good listener. A president who believes in the unity of people. Check, since he was in ODM, URP, Jubilee, and UDA, he has never appointed any of his relatives to this house. Compare, he appointed, his party has been appointing the marginalized women, person who listens to women. Let us judge William Ruto in a very fair way, even if you're in the opposition. And today I'm very happy. My colleague, the ranking member, has really confirmed to all and sundry that he has taken his place in the minority and in the opposition. This country needs an effective and robust opposition. It was not there last time. Last time we didn't know who was government. The opposition, you know that handshake killed this country. It gave us, it gave us extra seven trillion. Seven trillion. And that is why we need to reconfigure the budget. And even this house, the budget of the Parliament Service Commission must be ready to be slashed. 
And we must not rush to the Chinese loans anymore. We must borrow. If we have to borrow, we must borrow from the multilaterals. That will give us cheaper rates at 3% longer period. We don't want these Chinese who come and they come with their companies. Kenyans lose. They offload their population. Imagine a Chinese truck driver in a construction site. This house must rise to the occasion. And those of us who will, if the house approves me, we will not allow Kenyans' place to be occupied by foreigners. Dear colleagues, and because the majority are new, I really want to ask you, please make laws that will help our country. Even when government bring, government bring laws, scrutinize them. You know, the last four years, and I think now everybody knows the deep state and the, and the, and the what were they called, the system. Those are fallacy. Even I'm sure if the, the chief is no longer a deep state. The county commissioner has realized he is not a deep state. The DPP could not work. He was told, choose which file to take to court. The EACC, there, there was gun on the head. Look for the file of Eden Dwale and don't take this one. The judiciary was muscled. The controller of budget could not say that counties has overshoot their current expenditure. Our counties are employing 50, 60 percent outside the PFM requirement of 35. Honorable Bandi and team, you will watch from TV the way this country will change. I have no doubt. I have no doubt. You know, Honorable, Honorable Kiraitu Murungi in 2002 said, President Moy, go home and buy a TV. I am telling you, buy a TV. May God give you more years to live and watch how William Samoy Arab Ruto will transform this country. Please. By a TV, death level will come down. In, in 30 days, Honorable Mbandi and the rest, in 30 days, we have stopped subsidy of, of petroleum products. No, I am not a minister. I am a member for Garissa Township. <laughs> Madam Speaker, you need to protect me. I am the member, and I want to thank the people of Garissa Township. They elected me four times in four different political parties. ODM, URP, Jubilee, and now in UDA. That tells you they have the confidence in the leadership, and all that I moved with William Ruto. They were telling me, go with William Ruto. He took me to ODM. He took me to URP. He took me, but I didn't mind because I was a, a pastoralist. Madam Speaker, I am so happy that what, what I said many years ago, that I will retire from politics when William Ruto in the State House. That dream has been achieved, and God bless Kenya. God bless the government of William Ruto. And I hope this house will provide the leadership. I know we have a very vibrant opposition. We have got very good leaders on the other side. Let us all work together to protect the interests of our people. And thank you, Madam Speaker. Thank you. We'll now have member for Konoin. We'll be followed by member for Nandi County and then member for Matungu.